Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the air is certainly very wet and damp, but as far as, you know, heavy precipitation, we don't see that. It's just low clouds and fog for now. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar not finding any rain. However, the fog is so dense in some areas that a little bit of mist and drizzle can't be ruled out during the overnight hours. As far as any steady rain, at least not yet. And fortunately, temperatures are above freezing with moisture in the air right now. We're not concerned about icing readings in the upper 40s to low 50s. Very mild night after topping out at uh, 60 degrees this afternoon and it could be even warmer tomorrow and that's with not much in the way of sunshine so unusually warm these are the visibilities in many areas below a mile and as a result a, a dense fog advisory has now been expanded to providence county so everybody in southern new england will have fog but the thickest fog in the area is shaded in yellow this advisory goes until uh, seven o'clock in the morning live pictures from where <laughs> could be anywhere right this is our live camera in providence it's up in the air. It's about 200 feet up in the air, so it's actually inside the clouds. To give you an idea of how low the clouds are here in downtown Providence. Now, anytime the temperature and the dew point are identical, the relative humidity in the atmosphere becomes 100%. So, a very saturated atmosphere with a light southerly breeze off the ocean, just enhancing some of that low cloud cover. Now, we are tracking rain. Notice the bulk of it is still well to our north and west. This is actually associated with a stalled out front, what we call a stationary front, and you can see all the moisture lined up along it and that's headed our way tomorrow. Initially, I think it's just scattered light showers, especially by tomorrow afternoon, but eventually a storm will form on this front, giving us some heavier rain, and right now the timing on that would be Wednesday night, and this front is separating milder air up and down the east coast to a winter chill back through the Great Lakes. We'll get into some of this colder air by middle and towards the end of the week, so even though it's warm now, it will cool off quite a bit. Future cast overnight tonight showing the low clouds and fog, little blip of green. This is, you follow the clock up in here, 2 in the morning is a passing shower or a sprinkle. Here we are tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., and every now and then you get a random shower coming through, though I think slightly better chances coming up during the afternoon. This is 2 o'clock in the afternoon and then here we are tomorrow evening with the clouds and steady showers likely the light so cloudy damp tomorrow morning areas of fog not a lot of rain though I can't rule out at least a light shower coming through and again a slightly higher chance tomorrow afternoon and what's amazing even with the cloud cover tomorrow temperatures upper 50s to lower 60s with scattered showers so very very mild for early December Looking at readings somewhere between 60 and 63 degrees tomorrow afternoon on a southwest breeze. More clouds than any sunshine. A mainly cloudy day and a few light rain showers. Again, nothing really heavy, at least not yet. Tomorrow afternoon, southeastern Massachusetts, scattered showers as well with temperatures in the 60s. Cooler on Wednesday and even here during the daylight hours, it's light showers. It's actually Wednesday night with a coastal storm that'll give us some heavy rain. It could actually end as a little bit of wet snow Thursday morning. Though I do expect it to clear out Thursday afternoon. We'll get into some sunshine, though cooler with high temperatures in the mid 40s and that'll set up for some colder weather Thursday, Friday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, daytime highs in the 40s, nighttime temperatures 20s and 30s. But the concern in the immediate future would be the dense fog now through at least early tomorrow morning. Okay, thanks, Tony.